Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will take a look at 25 formidable military vehicles at work in the U.S. Armed Forces. If you're eager to know more details on this topic, stay tuned and don't go anywhere. In 2016, the United States spent $612 billion on defense. For many others, that level of military commitment is worth it in order to protect America and its interests. Critics of military expenditure, on the other hand, believe that the money may be best invested elsewhere, such as on domestic affairs. Regardless of where you stand on the defense budget, almost everyone believes that the U.S. military is breathtaking every year. The sight of planes landing on an aircraft carrier tickles the interest of people of all political stripes, while the capabilities of land-based vehicles excite the interest of practically everyone. Anyway, if you're interested in the latest tanks, troop haulers, and patrol robots on wheels, we've got it covered for you. Here are 25 of the most frightening military vehicles currently in use by the U.S. military. Let's check it out. Number 1. The M117 Guardian When forces need something more armored than a Humvee yet still need significant mobility, the M117 Guardian goes into action. This 15-ton vehicle is powered by a Cummins diesel engine, 260 horsepower, 828 pound-feet of torque, and has a top speed of 65 miles per hour. To keep enemies at bay, the Guardian is equipped with two types of machine guns and an automated grenade launcher. This model is produced by Textron Marine and Land Systems. Number 2. Striker Combat Vehicle The Striker vehicle transports troops to battlegrounds and provides protection for them while they prepare to combat. It has eight wheels and can easily beat off machine gun fire. In 2016, the military began equipping strikers with cannons and anti-tank guided missile systems to boost their utility. Enemy tanks have a hard time defeating it in its most powerful state. Number 3. M1 Shredder Using the chassis of the workhorse M1 tank, the U.S. Marine Corps, USMC, and Army found a replacement for the M1 Grizzly in this M1 Shredder Assault Breacher. While the tank is an offensive weapon, the Shredder serves as a utility model that clears space by ramming everything in its path. Despite having a machine gun and smoke grenades on board, the Shredder is more of a formidable support vehicle. This vehicle has a maximum power output of 1,500 horsepower and a top speed of 43 miles per hour. Number 4. M2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle The Bradley Fighting Vehicle BFV is available in numerous models, but the one designed for combat operations has a 25mm Bushmaster cannon and armor-crushing missiles. This type has a 600 horsepower engine and can transport up to 10 soldiers at a time. The maximum speed is 35 miles per hour. The BFV's weight is roughly 71,000 pounds and has a gasoline tank that contains 155 gallons. Number 5. AA V7 Amphibious Assault Vehicle the AA V7 is the assault vehicle that can perform both land and marine operations for the Marine Corps. This vehicle is able to carry a three-person crew and 25 Marines and travel up to 20 nautical miles at sea or 300 miles on land. Cover is provided by a 25mm Bushmaster machine gun, a 40mm grenade launcher, and an M2HB 50 caliber machine gun. It can even attain a top speed of 45 miles per hour on paved highways. Number 6. M109A7 Tank For decades, the U.S. Army's Armored Brigade Combat Team, ABCT, relied on the M109A6 Paladin self-propelled howitzer for artillery support. In 2014, BAE Systems, the tank's manufacturer, began updating the M109A6 for improved combat performance. With a redesigned chassis and improved digital suite, the M109A7 improves on the profile of this behemoth overseas. 
Number 7. Avenger Weapon System The Avenger is the weapon of choice for the Army when it comes to air defense on the move. It is armed with eight Stinger missiles which can be used to shoot down helicopters or low-flying aircraft. One of its best features is the ability to track and shoot while moving. Boeing provided this mobile armament system for the Army until the late 1990s when it began delivering variants to the Egyptian Army. Number 8. Buffalo Clearance Vehicle The Buffalo Mine Protected Route Clearance Vehicle MPCV, aids forces in establishing command in hazardous terrain. This massively armored vehicle has six wheels, a weight of 76,000 pounds, and a length of 27 feet. This vehicle is powered by a Caterpillar C-13 engine that produces 1,483 pound-feet of torque and can attain a top speed of 55 miles per hour. Its 30-foot robotic arm, which is equipped with cameras and sensors, is now in charge of path clearance, while its V-shaped shell reduces the impact of mine explosions. Number 9. Global HET Heavy Equipment Transporter System HETS is the name of a U.S. Army logistics vehicle transport system, the primary purpose of which is to transport the M1 Abrams tank. It is also used to transport, deploy, and evacuate armored personnel carriers, self-propelled artillery, armored bulldozers, and other heavy vehicles and equipment. It takes a serious hauler to throw a tank on its bed for transport across the desert. Enter the Oshkosh Global Heavy Equipment Transporter HET. The Caterpillar C-18 engine of these 666 trucks produces 700 horsepower and has a payload capacity of 72 tons. The Global HET transports a tank with a short driving range to the battleground when a unit requires it. Number 10. Black Knight Transformer Despite the fact that the Black Knight Transformer is not yet functioning, we felt compelled to include the Flying Jeep. On land, prototypes can reach speeds up to 70 miles per hour and can fly as high as 10,000 feet. Advanced Tactics, which first introduced the idea in 2012, sees it as the ultimate cargo resupply system. But this transformer can do more than just drive and fly. The bottom can accommodate a boat hull in place of the drivetrain. Number 11. MATV Assault Among small to mid-sized vehicles supporting offensive and defensive operations, Oshkosh's MATV Assault has a high level of protection and mobility than other vehicles, especially in attack mode. This truck has an independent suspension system that controls the bulk of its routes in off-road circumstances and can transport up to 11 crew members. The MATV Assault features a weaponry platform that comprises Javelin missiles and a M249 5.56mm machine rifle when it comes to battle. Number 12. M1A2 Abrams Main Battle Tank Tank development and production require time, which explains why the M1A1 Abrams, which first saw service in 1980, has lasted so long. The M1A2 Abrams main battle tank is based on the same chassis as the M1A1 Abrams, but it features depleted uranium armor for increased protection and a new commander's weapon station with more technical features. The main weapon of this tank is the M256 smoothbore cannon, which is powered by a Honeywell 1500 AGT gas turbine, 1500 horsepower. Number 13. LVSR Wrecker For Marine Corps 10x10 trucks, the LVSR MKR-15 Wrecker is the preferred support vehicle. This truck can reach and retrieve any machine that is stuck in mud, snow, or water. By any standard, Wrecker's lifting and hauling capabilities are amazing. It has the ability to lift and tow objects weighing up to 96,000 pounds and up to 110,000 pounds for flat towing. Its rear-mounted winches, on the other hand, have a straight pull rating of 78,000 pounds. Number 14. Cougar 6x6 
With proven combat survivability, the advanced ballistic and blast-protected Cougar 6x6 can seat 10 fully equipped passengers. When it comes to reliability, even after a hit, the Cougar can return to the field in a matter of hours and perform a number of tasks such as command and control, EOD, patrol, convoy support, forward observation, reconnaissance, medevac, and more. This vehicle has a V-shaped hull that has been found to be efficient against IEDs and can also survive rocket-propelled grenade fire. Its Caterpillar C7 diesel engine has a maximum output of 330 horsepower and 860 pound-feet of torque. The Cougar's fuel capacity allows for a range of up to 600 kilometers. Number 15, LAV-25 the LAV-25 Light Armored Vehicle is an eight-wheeled amphibious armored reconnaissance vehicle built by General Dynamic Land Systems and used by the United States Marine Corps and the United States Army. Since its main strength is versatility, this 8x8 machine may operate on land or in the water, providing a tool for reconnaissance, security, or all-out attack to the military. It is powered by a Detroit Diesel 6V53T engine with 275 horsepower and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. LAV-25 has a top speed of 6 miles per hour on the water. The LAV-25 is armed with an M242 25mm chain cannon and an M240 7.62mm machine gun. Number 16, M88 Hercules Recovery Vehicle the M88 recovery vehicle is one of the largest armored recovery vehicles, ARV, currently in use by the United States Armed Forces. There are currently three variants, the M88, M88A1, and M88A2 Hercules Heavy Equipment Recovery Combat Utility Lifting Extraction System. The M88 series has seen action most notably in the Vietnam War, the Persian Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan, and to a lesser extent during the Kosovo War, where they were deployed to help recover heavy armored vehicles of the Allied ground units. Number 17, Camel MRAP. It sounds like CAMEL, but it stands for Concept for Advanced Military Explosion Mitigating Land Vehicle. It means Idea for Advanced Military Explosion Mitigating Land Vehicle. Basically, the 808 prototype MRAP vehicle was created as a way for Detroit Arsenal to demonstrate its latest technologies following the previous Middle East wars which showed troop transportation shortcomings. The V-shape on the bottom of the camel provides an improved technique to guarding against IEDs. Number 18, M142 HIMARS. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS is a light multiple rocket launcher developed in the late 1990s for the United States Army mounted on a standard Army M1140 truck frame. The HIMARS carries six rockets or one MGM-140 ATA-CMS missile on the U.S. Army's new family of medium tactical vehicles, FMTV 5-ton truck, and can launch the entire multiple launch rocket system family of munitions, MFOM. HIMARS ammunition is interchangeable with the MLRS M270A1. However, it is only able to carry one pod rather than the standard two for the M270 and A1 variants. Number 19, M9 Armored Combat Earthmover. The M9 Armored Combat Earthmover, ACE, is a highly mobile armored tracked vehicle that provides combat engineers support to frontline forces. Fielded by the United States Army, its tasks include eliminating enemy obstacles, maintenance and repair of roads and supply routes, and construction of fighting positions. The M9 Armored Combat Earthmover ACE is another all-star military support vehicle. It has the ability to destroy structures, clean riverbanks, destroy obstacles, and provide cover for forces establishing themselves in a particular region. Due to its visibility limitations, the M9 Ace, which is operated by a single crew member, requires a high level of ability from the driver. 
Number 20, RG31 Nyala. The RG31 Nyala is a 4x4 multi-purpose mine-resistant ambush-protected infantry mobility vehicle manufactured in South Africa by Land Systems OMC, the division of Dental SOC Limited located in Benoni, South Africa, and in Turkey by FNSS Defense Systems. It is based on the Mamba APC of TFM Industries. The RG-31 has become the multi-purpose vehicle of choice of the UN and other peacekeeping and security forces. It is finding favor with non-governmental organizations requiring a vehicle with a non-aggressive appearance to protect their personnel against landmines. Number 21, Kennedy Q Raider 1 Engineer. The Kennedy Q Raider 1 engineer may not look to be something, but its capacity to knock out IEDs in autonomous mode means it could be useful in the military in the future. Raider 1 is a four-wheel drive Polaris MVRS 700 that controllers can control from a distance of approximately 1,000 yards. The engineer also assists command and evacuation operations with its clearance tools. The front and back rollers are mine resistant. Number 22, Autonomous Terramax. Terramax is the trademark for autonomous unmanned ground vehicle technology developed by Oshkosh Defense. Primary military uses for the technology are seen as reconnaissance missions and freight transport in high-risk areas, so freeing soldiers from possible attacks, ambushes, or the threat of mines and IEDs. The technology could also be used in civilian settings such as autonomous snow clearing at airports. In the meantime, Oshkosh was working on its own unmanned vehicle driving system for military vehicles. For cases where sending no driver is the best strategy, this technology is integrated into heavy-duty vehicles. Terramax is an aftermarket upgrade. Number 23, Oshkosh MMRS Demonstrator. The Multi-Mission Recovery System, MMRS, answers the question of how armed forces recover damaged vehicles from the battlefield. The revolving boom on this 10-wheel drive monster weighs 50 tons and extends over 40 feet. This machine's primary function is to rescue automobiles that have been damaged, immobilized, swamped, stranded, or flipped. The MMRS is capable of recovering mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, the largest tactical wheeled vehicles, and tracked combat vehicles with a maximum weight of 10,000 pounds. Number 24, Humvee. Known by its military designation as the High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, the Humvee is a lightweight, highly mobile, diesel-powered four-wheel drive tactical vehicle that uses a common chassis to carry a wide variety of military hardware, ranging from machine guns to tube-launched, optically-tracked, wire-command-guided tow anti-tank missile launchers. It must perform in a wide variety of terrain, from deserts to jungles, for long periods of time with minimal maintenance. This vehicle also has to carry its cargo and occupants in safety while dodging instruments of war, bullets, bombs, and mines. This vehicle was first utilized during the invasion of Panama in 1989. It has a 6.5-liter diesel engine and four-wheel drive. Newer models have a shielded gun turret that was first seen during the battles in Afghanistan in Iraq. Number 25, P-19R Aircraft Firefighter. The P-19 Aircraft Firefighting ARFF truck is used by U.S. Marines when they need to respond to an aircraft downed. With its high-powered engine and ability to carry 1,000 gallons of water and 130 gallons of foam agent as well as other heavy response equipment, this truck can get to the scene of an accident quickly. In 2016, Oshkosh began prepping this improved model for the battlefield. That's all for today. If you find this video interesting, do not forget to like, share, comment, and the most important one is to click the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.